So it's been a couple of weeks since we've meditated together. So this week we'll be doing another body bone-based meditation, great for anxiety. And this one in particular is really helpful for those of you who might have um, some TMJ issues like TMD, jaw clicking, jaw pain, <clears throat> trouble opening the mouth. Um, and that physiologically and emotionally is really tied to this feeling and this tendency that we have to swallow our tongue, swallow our words, and, and not fully express ourselves. So let's go ahead and get started. You can find a comfortable position. I'm seated here today. You might be standing, you might be on your back. Bring your hands to your collarbones. And so we have these two really nice long clavicle bones, collarbones right here up near the top of your chest. And I'd like you to bring your fingertips to them. <clears throat> and we'll just start our practice today with a little bit of tapping. You'll tap one side and then the other and just alternate nice and gently back and forth. Your eyes here can be open or they can be closed. It's really up to you. And we'll just tap back and forth on the collarbone region. And my breath naturally just guided itself to deepen. Yours might as well. So you might notice the body naturally taking some nice deep breaths. And if you watch my hands, <clears throat> or just feel your hands on your collarbone, they're tapping outward toward the very edge of the collarbone and then back inward just so that we can feel the entire line of that bony structure across the body. And you go nice and slow, you might speed up for a couple of moments, slow down, just play with the pacing and the intensity of it. But just stay with feeling the collarbones as you tap here. <clears throat> and then rest your hands right over your collarbones and take a deep breath in. You might notice them gently lift up as you inhale, just really subtly and exhaling. They might gently soften back down. Okay, so here's one landmark for our meditation. Second one will be our jaw. And so you'll bring your hands right up to your jaw and I want you to walk your fingertips back to the very back point of the jaw and you can see I'm pointing to where it is on me here if you look at the camera and um, you want to just again gently tap alternating left and then right with your pointer finger right on that sharp angle near the back side of the jaw where the bone starts to guide up toward the ear and just go nice and slowly left and then right You might work the hand slightly up that angle toward the back side of the ear and then back down and do that a couple times. Great. And rest with your pointed fingers over the jaw. Turn the hands so that your thumbs can find the, the collarbone. So just make this L with our hands. Point your fingers on the edge of the jaw, thumbs guided on the collarbone. It can be closer in or further out. It's really up to you. If you have different fingers, some people prefer to use their pinkies. You can do that. <clears throat> and I'd like for you to just feel and sense and notice the difference, the distance from this bony edge of your jaw to your collarbone. And just take a few moments with your awareness in both of these spaces at once, jaw and collarbone, not trying to force or move anything, just letting the mind map itself out, feeling where these bony structures are in space. And it takes some time for our brain to really map our body in space so we'll be here for just a little bit longer feeling sides of the jaw to the collarbones <clears throat> if your hands or arms get tired you can always lower them down they're just there to help support and anchor the mind in these bony structures when we bring our hands over the body it's driving and engaging our awareness to that same area.
And again, notice your breath. It might be nice and soft. It might be long and deep. Just however it naturally is, allow it to be that way. Lower the hands down if they're still lifted. Gently open the eyes. And so some things you might notice from this meditation practice, you might feel and notice a little bit more space in your jaw joint. You might feel more length in your neck. You might feel that the head moved a little bit back in space. So we're just giving our brain information on where our body structures are so that it can naturally realign us. And that's how our nervous system works. It just guides the body based on information. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, how that felt for you. That tapping practice is another one that's super good for the mind, great for reducing anxiety and moving things through the nervous system emotionally that might have been stuck. So I can definitely come back to that throughout the day. I tend to do it when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed or when I just need to ground and recenter. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.